Hey guys, what's up? It's Seiya, and welcome back for another video. Today, I'm going to be heading out into the end to explore the ruins of SSJN Solo Base. I've actually uploaded a video of this base before, but I wanted to see it in its current state since it's been a long time since I've visited the place. Uh, before venturing out into the end, I also wanted to get the advancement for killing the Ender Dragon, so you'll get to see me popping to it thinking the damage wouldn't be so bad. I was able to get the advancement after Elytra flying around and spamming arrows through the laggy projectile trajectories, and from there I left end spawn to make my way out to SSJN's old base ruins. I've been enjoying playing on Old Fag again lately and making new videos, hopefully you guys have been enjoying them as well. Okay guys, we are less than 10k away from SSJN's base, so we'll be coming up on that pretty soon. And this is it right here. Alright, cool. We've made it to the base. Okay, now that I've got a look at everything from overhead, I know where I'm going to have to explore. So let's just land real quick. And it's been a really long time since I've been here, so let's go see if my sign is still up. Yeah, every single one of the signs is gone. That's a big rip. Let's see, I think this was like the storage area or something. Pretty sure this was the storage area. Yeah, every single thing's been cleared out. A lot of this pathway is left though. I, I like the pathway that SSGN had. I do have a video on my channel of what this base looked like before it was griefed. And uh, yeah, it was, it was a pretty cool solo base. This was the potion brewer area. TPS is dropping. Uh, the Troll 2001 is online. I think I think he might have something to do with that. Let's see, I don't exactly remember what this build was. Was this like a auto melon and pumpkin farm? Or just auto melon farm? Now this I do remember. Let's see if there's a way up. Okay, that's not that one. Now this was the area I think where SSJN housed his map arts. Is this concrete? Oh my god, the lag is real right now. Plus terracotta. There's still soul sand and nether wart left over. And a wart block penis. It's really hard to know if that was there before or if that was like left by whoever griefed the place. I, I don't know, it kind of seems like something SSJN would build. Now, I, I don't exactly remember what this is. Like, I really have no fucking idea. But let's check it out. Oh, enchantment area. SSJN's enchantment table. I'm gonna take that. I'm not going down there, I'm just gonna free cam down to it. But this is like, I don't know, right above the void or something. I think it's an enderman farm. Yeah, there's an endermite right here. So, there used to be a couple crosses there with player heads on them. And, uh, here we have SSJN's Obsidian Redeemer statue. I actually don't think he had this built when I actually visited when he was still basing here. But I did get to see it in the world download. And this is how he was getting to spawn so quickly. He had his own, his own gateway. I think that was like why he specifically chose this uh, island to base on. Well, I think that's pretty much it for the base exploration, guys. Uh, it doesn't seem to be much left of SSJN's base, but it is pretty cool coming out here and seeing this again after such a long time. So uh, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Y'all be safe out there.